All right, all right, fine, I'll do it. You want spirit science? This is how you get spirit science. And I'll give you spirit science, all right? I'll give you more than you could possibly handle. Which is literally one episode, because that's how bad it is. And how much I am willing to submit myself to, at least for now. But fine, here you go. Don't blame me when all your brains up and leave to join the circus so they can be surrounded by something significantly less silly. Hey everyone, this video is brought to you by our new social network, Spirit Mysteries. Stay tuned to the end to learn more about it. Oh god, he's only gone and done a social network all over himself. Dare I? Dare I visit? No. No, I daren't. I'm too scared. It'll be those god-awful, you are one with the universe type memes and everyone else just trying to sell each other on various snake oils to cure their super cancer. That they just happen to be diagnosed with by their unlicensed massage therapist. You know the cure works because they don't have cancer after taking it. No, it doesn't matter that they didn't have it before. I told you, cured. Alas. While lately we've been looking at the chakras, minor and major, soul star and beyond. Alas indeed, I really wish to have never seen or heard of any of those, but you keep getting more and more bafflingly popular and your production values keep going up and up, so I can only assume you have managed to swindle yet more suckers out of their money for your how to tell if there's chakra in your poop online courses or whatever, so I have to keep criticising you and your terrible nonsense to balance out the universe. Poor me and my very important work. Along with the Kundalini and more. The Kundalini? And which kind of pastor is that? Is it the flat one, the turny boy? Or is it that kind that looks like an ear if you squint at it? Oh, never mind, stupid me. It's not that at all. It's this guy from the first Mad Max film. Yeah, no, I have no idea who he's supposed to be either. The truth is, the chakras truly are only a stepping stone to an even greater awareness. That awareness being this woo crap is all horseshit, but it only works if you notice the very subtle hints that chakras are nonsense. Like how they don't do anything, and that they have no practical purpose or abilities, and also that when you talk to a real doctor about your chakras, they slam to the floor laughing because you take that shit seriously. Such sneaky little hidden flaws. Flaws so hidden, if they were its homonym, you know, floor, like in a house, the walls, ceiling, and garden would basically all be made from them too. Literally invisible. And so today it's time to dive deep into the nature of the light body itself. The what now? I don't have a light body. I have been working very hard to achieve this perfection of the heavy body. Countless exercises. Curling, burgers into my face, lifting, and subsequently dropping sweeties into my mouth, doing press-ups, when my face gets dipped directly into mayonnaise. You might not like it, but this is what peak performance looks like. Vroom vroom, motherfucker. So buckle up and get ready. And if you haven't yet, make sure to download the free chakra meditation to get the most of your light body experience. How many times am I gonna have to tell you no? And let me guess, is this an app? And is it one of those ones that desperately needs all of my contact details? The ability to make phone calls and for some f reason know exactly where I am every single moment of the day just in case I don't know I find your secret stash of special crystals yes I do mean meth links in the description please enjoy the video never and stop telling me what to do you're not my real blue dad because he's blue dead in fact that might explain why he's blue and starting to smell I really should call someone but that would involve getting up and I got some clothes pegs right here problem solved Wait, I thought you just hadn't made any more of your deluxe remakes. Aw, oh, god damn it. Now it'll all be out of order. The series won't make sense as you attempt to follow the highly cerebral plot. Now wait, I'm thinking of the Fast and the Furious movies. At least they make some sense. No, literally doesn't matter what order I do this shit in. When exploring the light body, one of the first things you might learn is actually about auras. Oh, auras, that other thing that's nonsense. Having an apparently detectable field of light around your body. The only time there is a detectable coloured haze around a body is when they smell that badly. Like Blue Dad Deddington. And me. We're actually having a competition to see who can smell the worst. You'll be glad to know it's me. In New Age circles, 
Auras are usually thought to be a kind of energy that emits from your body and follows the same frequency pattern as the chakras. Well, I'm convinced. I mean, new age people have never held completely asinine, nonsensical and unfalsifiable opinions about the world. I mean, as we all know, crystals all have magic powers, smelly juice has the ability to cure everything from hemorrhoids to autism, and if you rub piss into your eyes, it'll definitely make them better. Somehow. I really, really wish I made that last one up for shock value where the root is the smallest body, the physical form, and then the sacral body, solar body, heart body, and so on, radiate outwardly around you. I've got a hard body. Well, okay, most of it's very soft and squidgy, but part of it is very hard, if you know what I mean, ladies. It's my helmet. Of course it's hard, it's made out of metal. Wait, what did you think I meant? Many people claim to see auras, and there are actually techniques that may help you to do so. Oh, actual techniques, something that we could like actually try and not just feel it, or at least pretend we do so hard that we end up convincing ourselves of something that isn't true. Cool, I'm looking forward to trying these amazing and highly technical techniques for seeing people's auras. Go ahead. Including unfocusing your eyes on a person or even just putting a hand in front of a black screen. Oh my God, are you kidding me? Making your eyes blurry or putting your hands in front of a TV slash monitor can help you do that. It's not like blurring your eyes will make things blurry and appear to have something coming around them. And black screens, a dark reflective surface that also has literal light coming out of it. It's just hard to tell because it's not technically black, but actually a dark grey that still has light coming from it. Jesus Christ, imagine thinking, squinting, and having literal light behind your hands is giving you superpowers. It's not uncommon to see either a colored or white glow around the object of your focus. Yeah, I see that all the time, and it has absolutely nothing to do with the fact that I'm always off my tits drunk every single second of every single day. No, it's because I can see auras around literally everything. You know, it actually makes it really, really hard to drive sometimes, especially with all the red auras that keep appearing on my windscreen for no reason. But yeah, coloured auras, checks out. Also, these coloured auras come with the distinctive sounds of crowds of people screaming, especially when I go to the drive through supermarket. What do you mean there's no such thing? The aura system mirrors the chakra system almost identically. Ha! Almost. Give it some credit, it's absolutely the same. They are both total bollocks. It's remarkable how they mirror each other in their bollocksiness. Nothing can quite match just how these two things are an identical amount of complete and total bollocks. It's pretty amazing. Because in a way, it's part of the same system. The aura reflects your energy body on the outside, just as your chakras reflect your energy body on the inside. Energy body? Wouldn't that just mean like your body because it uses energy all the time? I'm not sure you know what energy actually is. It's just a term to describe like power and how it transfers from one thing to another. It doesn't mean like spirit or ghosty boy. I don't know, it's just weird how you use terms that have already clearly defined meanings to mean, well, something wrong. However, both of these systems weave together to create the human light body. Much like how when you put the seven colors together in light, you get pure white light. Wait, wait, wait. I don't think that's how prisms work. I mean, I assume technically you could do that, but for the life of me, I can't find anyone who ever has. What you're showing there is literally the opposite of how we do that thing. The light goes in and then it splits into the various waveforms of visible light. And the rest, I assume. But apparently, I'm not powerful enough to see invisible light. Perhaps I need to squint more. The thing is, there are actually many different types of light bodies, reflecting different geometries that can be necessary for different purposes. Oh god. Oh god, no. This is, this is gonna be f***ing sacred geometry, isn't it? No, please, anything but that. It's so meaningless, and somehow also completely incomprehensible. And some may say, well, perhaps you just don't understand it. But I also don't understand the sentence, Hey, <laughs> plunk. I'm gone, boy, skip, skip, blah. But that doesn't mean it's actually a deep and meaningful sentence about the natural order of the universe. It's just noises. So a lot like spirit science, really. The most commonly discussed one is the star tetrahedron. 
Oh, I know, right? Can't go five minutes without some jackass bringing up his star tetrahedron light body. All the time with these assholes. Star tetrahedron light body this, star tetrahedron light body that. If you love your star tetrahedron light body so much, why don't you just marry your star tetrahedron light body? Oh no, guys. I think I said star tetrahedron light body so much it's literally lost all meaning. That it definitely had and wasn't yet more Wudo science gibber speak. But you can have a light body based on any of the plutonic solids. Oh yeah, of course, just ignore the plutonic liquids. Trust you to ignore the far more interesting group in your biased pursuit of a solid utopia. The founders will be hearing about this. You will be crushed neath the Dominion's mighty boot. A founder has given you an order. You will obey it. I'll let you know when I need you. Also, there's the plutonic gases, but we don't talk about them. They smell a bit... Blue Daddy. And then there is even the Covenant 486 Merkaba, which is said to be the root of the Tree of Life system itself. Right, wait, wait, slow down. So, right, we mix Covenant with Bacardi, and then we pour it into a cup made from the Tree of Life, stir 486 times, pour over ice, and that's how you make a perfect mojito, right? It's either that or I wasn't actually listening and allowing the gibberish to just wash over me like a wave. A wave of stupid. And which we explore in our Spirit Medicine Walkers workshop at the end, for those who are interested. Literally no one is. I know that's not actually true, but can we just pretend they don't exist? Haven't I suffered enough with normal, non-completely ridiculous humans? Why you gotta keep making these just completely absurd ones? Like, all the time. Stop! For the purposes of simplicity, today we're going to be exploring the original Merkaba that we learned, which is a great place to get started. Now, when you say simplicity, all I hear is annoying and stupid. See, it's actually this exact kind of shit that makes me hate responding to spirit science so much. Most of the other people I cover, well, they at least have a thread of trying to discuss things about actual reality, but this shit, it's as they say in the sciences, it's not even wrong. It's just nothing. Nothing but sophistic gibberish. But before we jump into anything else, there's something we must know. I don't know about, uh, no, but what we do need to do is, that's right, drink. And for my peeps who don't drink, for whatever reason, you're just gonna have to go low tech and stick to face palms and head desks. But try not to do it too hard. You wouldn't want to hurt your palm or your desk. That would be awful. No matter how much you try to understand the light body. It'll always be the biggest load of old gubbins you ever heard that simply doesn't make sense because it literally doesn't make sense. Yeah, we know. And for any poor fool who does buy this crap and just seems to think they haven't studied it enough to understand it. No, mate, you will never be able to study enough. That's by design. It's supposed to be BS. At least that's my theory. Merkabas and chakras through the sacred geometry and logical explanations. Whoa, 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 whoa. You stop right there, Mr. Bucko. You can't just throw around phrases like logical, logic, logical explanations. As has been said many times, logic, that's our word. You don't get to use it because you don't know what it means. But if you actually learn to brain, I'll let you use the logic once a month on a Wednesday when the rest of us will be out, down the club, partying with no need for logic. Way too busy looking cool we will. It will never be enough on its own. It'll never be enough on its own. It'll never be enough with other things because it's an idea with 100% negative value. It literally sucks all the enough out of the universe and leaves it a bare husk of pointlessness and stupid. Where do you think all the humans came from? As Drunvalo has explained, there is a missing half of our understanding that is purely experiential. Ah, of course, experience. That thing that is not totally subjective and any anecdote about said experience will certainly not be subject to all your biases like chakras am real and me am can see the glowy boys. Also, it's not half, it's literally all of it. That's how we know that it's 100% bollocks. And can only be experienced through your own practice when centered with love. Ew, centered with love? I do not think so. Love, that's that thing that that band that no one's ever heard of lies about all the time. I think they were called the Ruttles, if I remember correctly. They actually had the sheer audacity to claim that all one needed was love. 
were absolute horse gubbins. When everybody knows the only thing you need is whiskey. And love don't buy you no whiskey now, does it? Only sacrifices get you whiskey. Now, I need one of you to come here and lay down on my conspicuously placed altar. Uh, for science. Yeah. Wait, before you go, I have something super important to tell you. It's life or death. It will change everything forever. Nope. Wait, it's gone. Oh well, probably wasn't important. But while I have you, don't forget to comment, subscribe and notify. And if you want more of my smexy voice, check out Mrs. Six's channel Spoon Star Stories, where I narrate and voice all the videos. And she does the work. And if you want to support the channel, check out the merch store for cool t-shirts, or check out Patreon, memberships and PayPal to support directly. Finally, Follow me on the medias of social to get completely pointless guff and to keep up on the latest releases. Oh, I just remembered what I was going to tell you. Whatever you do, don't touch the-